video today I'm going to be trying to show off a Lolan Raichu trying to get him in the electric terrain that will be set by the pink urchin and then using that new to move rising voltage which is crazy powerful so here's our first opponent uh, Kunbag he's got some threats on his team for sure Mewtwo for one uh, Hippowdon which is certainly going to stop the uh, Raichu sweep if I uh, manage to set up but I've opened Urshifu because I think he's probably going to open Hippowdon to try and get rocks out yeah, the plan is to try and get Pink Urchin in, set the electric terrain, then get Raichu in. If I can Nasty Plot up, I'm pretty sure it sweeps like most teams. If I don't get to Nasty Plot, it could still do very, very well. So, that is the plan. So, yeah, he's open to Paladon. Look at this cool background, by the way. The new background from the Isle of Armour DLC. So cool. Um, I'm just going to go for Surgeon Strikes because I think this kills. I think he's probably going to stay in. Yeah, he stays in. And look at this animation, it's so cool. Urshifu is really cool, I'm loving both forms. Oh, that definitely kills. Oh, Rocky Helmet, that's not cool. We're going to take three lots of Rocky Helmet damage here. Plus Sandstorm. So down goes to Paladon, which is great for Raichu because obviously it resists or, or is immune to electric. So that Rising Voltage sweep is looking more likely. Who did he go into here? Um, while you're at it guys, please leave a thumbs up on the video and subscribe for these awesome new tutor moves and showing off the new Pokemon that I've been trying to do. In comes Grimmsnarl. I mean, what does he do? He could set up or he could just attack. Maybe i just l get some damage off, let Urshifu die and then get Pink Urchin in. Thunderwave. Hopefully I don't get powered right now. I am Scarf, so I should like still be faster. Okay, we get the Surgeon Strikes out. Let's have a look at this cool animation once again. This isn't going to kill. But nearly did. So powerful. Critting every time is just like no joke. So hopefully now he just kills me. Oh, Sandstorm. He's going to die next turn anyway, so I could get in Pinkerton now. Let the sand kill him. I can... Ugh, I need to get some damage off of Mewtwo or Nasty Plot up. I'm just going to go pink. Let the sand kill Grimmsnarl. See, Pinkerton is actually like such a liability, but it's... it's Getting that electric surge for Raichu is what's important, but it's a terrible team member. So what's, what's Scrims not going to do here? Oh yeah, we got our electric seed for that defense boost. Play rough. Shouldn't do too much. Oh my god, did so much. Oh, it was a crit, okay. Well, he dies to the sandstorm. Who does he bring in now? Pink Christian is probably going to die next turn, which means I can get Raichu in. I wonder... I don't know who that is. Kalos Champion. Okay, Mewtwo. Okay. I need to get damage on this thing. So I think I'm probably just going to... T-Spikes could be better in the long run, is what I'm thinking here. Maybe I should have sucker punched just to get some damage on it. I don't know what he's going to do here. He could set up with his Mewtwo. If he's got like Calm Mind or, or Nasty Plot. Shadow Ball. He's just going for Shadow Ball. So we drop here. I should have sucker punched. I should have just sucker punched. It was silly not to. I just thought he was going to set up. Like I said, I think I need to get some damage on this for Raichu to kill it. I don't think Rising Voltage would kill it straight off. So I'm thinking of going Corviknight and just U-turning out into Raichu. Take take the hit from Mewtwo now and then U-turn out. That should get a little bit of damage. Shadow Ball, it might be Specs. That did quite a lot of damage, it could be Specs. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. I think I'm going to go Raichu now. I can't afford to nasty plot up, but I will get a rising voltage off. Life orb as well, life orb rising voltage in electric terrain is crazy powerful. You're about to see. 
The sandstorm's gone. Because of the electric terrain, I am faster. So here it is, rising voltage. What's he gonna do? Switch out? No, he's staying in, rising voltage. I love the animation as well. It just looks so powerful, look at that. And that gives me too, that's how crazy powerful that move is. Just right you in the terrain is, is too much. I don't really think he's got an answer for this now. Look at Rising Voltage go. Let's try and get another one. Another kill with it. Come on. What's taking so long to pick, my guy? Who's he got left? Cinderace? His owner, she feel? Okay. See, I can't surf this because it might have um, dry skin. Could go into... I don't know, I don't think he can kill me either though. I don't want to go into Charizard. I don't think he can kill me. I kind of want to just expand the force. Which now feels kind of silly. Maybe I should be running Psychic. I've got Expanding Force because I was originally going to have Indeedee on this team. So you could run like Expanding Force and Rising Voltage depending on what terrain was up. Yeah, Surf doesn't kill. Even if he specs, this doesn't kill. I don't even think he specs. That should have done more. Okay, yeah, he's Life Orb. He's Life Orb. The terrain goes. I think I'm still faster than Heliolisk. Another Expanding Force will kill. Why does this guy take so long for all of his moves? Expanding Force. Bop. Down goes Heliolisk. Crit didn't matter. Already Raichu putting in the work. Took down Mewtwo, Heliolisk. What's next? Shoe Fours. Oh, that's Urshifu, okay. It's the Water Urshifu. I'm naturally faster. But it could be Scarf, just like mine. Or it could have Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet would probably kill from this range. Um, I think, yeah, I'm just going to go for the Rising Voltage. Outside of terrain, it should kill. Oh, he doesn't have Aqua Jet. And it has a terrible spec death, so it should kill. There we go. Look at right you go. Even without the terrain putting in the work. Life Orb damage. He's got just Cinderace left, which will be faster than me, will, will probably pick me off here. Inazuma 11, nice little football TV show quote, not quote, reference. Yeah, I mean, the rest of my team can handle handle this if I die, so let's just go for the Surf. Ooh, I'm faster. He must be adamant and without Sucker Punch. Oh, and Surf just picks up the kill. Let's go Raichu, Raichu with the little sweep at the end there. Even without the conditions... Right, you finishing off. Let's go. Great first battle. Right, look at that. 5 0. Let's go. Let's get another one. That's how we do it. Okay, here we are with another one versus Rick. I think. Torco. Yeah, he's trying to set up for his Venusaur. Sharpedo, I can just uh, flip turn out. I don't really know. He could just set up rocks. But I think, even if he does, I'm just going to flip turn out into Pink Urchin. Or he could bring in Venusaur now, because obviously Venusaur heavily resists water in the sun. So away goes Torco. And in comes Venusaur, yeah. But I'm going to flip turn. Yeah, that was like nothing. A little bit of life or damage on Sharpedo. I'm going to go pink. Because Venusaur in the sun kind of really just shits on my team. So I need to get the surge up to make sure Raichu's faster when Raichu comes in. I don't know if you can kill Pink Urchin in one hit from here. 
so I'm just going to spike up, I think. Spike just breaks any sashes on anything else. If Raichu wants to sweep, growth. Oh, lordy. So we've got a plus two Venusaur in the sun. Plus two Chlorophyll Venusaur in the sun. So we get the spikes up, that's cool. Um, There's no way this Venusaur has a sash because it's already been broken. I'm going to try and get another layer up. But this probably just kills. Maybe I should have just suck a bunch just for a bit of extra damage. Yeah. So that's twice I've done that now. I should just suck a bunch. Always suck a bunch. Don't get greedy. Okay, he's life orb Venusaur. Alright, Raichu's my only real option here. Because everything else will die. I'm just hoping that Expanding Force... I forgot to switch it to Psychic. I'm hoping Expanding Force is enough. Life orb Expanding Force should kill this, I think. But if it doesn't, we're in a lot of trouble. And... Yeah, yeah, let's go, Raichu. That was important, because Venusaur would have just kind of shot on a lot on my team. Even Scarf Urshifu would have been struggling there. Because I don't think Scarf Urshifu could have killed it. I suppose after, if Expanded Force didn't kill, Urshifu would have come in and finished it off. But in comes Dark Manitan, we know what kind of threat this is. I mean, even if this thing is Scarf, I'm faster, so there, I have no reason not to rise in Voltage here. What's he going to do? He's got no priority moves, has he? No, I don't think so. Yep, out comes the Rising Voltage. This is going to kill for sure. Let's get some caps of that. Oh yeah, let's go. We know what kind of threat Darmanitan is, so that's super important to get rid of that. A little clip of that. Alright, so two big threats on the team taken out by Raichu. See, this Raichu set just puts in work. Get that terrain up. I need to get a nasty plot up, but I don't know who I can set up against really. Right, you so frail, Dragapult. All right, this is a problem. Bit of spike damage. Um. Uh, I don't really want to switch in anything into this because Urshifu and Charizard would take too much damage. Corviknight can't really do anything back. I just have to go for the rising voltage. A life orb, electric terrain boosted. But I know it resists, but it should do a lot of damage. Ooh, look how much damage that does. Resisted. That is resisted. Shadow Ball, that's just going to kill me. So, unfortunately, Raichu goes down here. Yeah. But it did what it needed to do. It might not have got the sweep, but it took out that Chlorophyll Venusaur. And it took out Darmanitan, and we know what kind of threat these things are. Like, Venusaur and the Sun and Darmanitan are stupid powerful. And it did so much damage to Dragapult there. Which is also important, so it did a lot of work. In comes Sharpedo. I can just protect here. To get the speed boost, and then finish it off. Thunderbolt, so this is not a choice item. Speed boost. He's got Thunderbolt in the terrain. Who knew? Yeah, so he's not Scarf, so now, now I'll be faster. I can just crunch. And he's left with Torkoal, Cinderace, and something. Seen a lot of Cinderace. Anyway, Dragapult goes down. Speed boost, Adamant Life Warp, Rapido is actually so good. Like, just get out of Protect to make yourself faster than anything. The Sunlight Fade, which is good for us, because now Flip Turn's going to be doing more damage. The Terrain disappear disappears, which is also good, so any Electric type moves aren't doing so much damage. I'm now plus two Sharpedo. Raichu has laid the foundations for a nice little finish off here. I don't know if Sharpedo's going to finish off. I don't I don't think Sharpedo will... Oh, the Sun's going to come back up. That's not good. Um... I'm going to flip turn into Charizard. Charizard will take any fire or grass move if he goes for Solar Beam. Because he might have Solar Beam. A lot of Torkoals run that. I could have just crunched, but if he had Solar Beam, I would have died. Yeah, I think Charizard's the play here. Because I've got that new move, Scorching Sands. Like I said, I'm trying to show off the new Tutor moves. I think this Torkoal was Fizz Death. Yawn. Oh no. Okay. Uh, I 
think I just kill it. Scorching Sands would be an awesome hit on Cinderace 2. Mewtwo is actually still a problem. Trapedo can deal with Mewtwo. Corviknight and Trapedo should deal with Mewtwo. I just need to get damage on this thing. I can't I can't allow a switch or any rocks to go up. Scorching Sands. Look at that. Charizard having that sort of offense. Oh, it was a crit. Maybe that crit did matter, but yeah, Charizard having that sort of coverage for other fire types is actually really good. That's why I quite like Scorching Sands on Charizard. Also, the chance to burn is just nice. Obviously, you can't burn fire types, but if they're Cinderace and they're Libero, they usually um, change type and then you could get the burn. Spikes damage on Mewtwo. Mewtwo's probably just going to finish us off here. Gonna go for the heat wave in case I wake up. I won't wake up turn one, obviously, but yeah, I think I died to two hits of anything Mewtwo does. Why? Why are you taking so long? Just pick a move. Maybe he won't go for the psychic because I've got Sharpedo in the back, but I didn't really want to risk switching in Sharpedo when it's probably my main way of beating Mewtwo. Psychic. He does go for the psychic. So I could have just switched in Sharpedo, but... Oh, and that streak kills. That's probably Specs. No way does Charizard die to one Psychic from Mewtwo normally. So I think that's Specs. So Sharpedo will be immune to his attacks. So I'm going to Protect again, get that speed boost. He probably switches. Oh no, he's Dynamaxing. Come on, man. That's super annoying because I don't Dynamax in singles unless I absolutely have to, like, if they've done it before me. Like this. So, I mean, this is annoying because he's going to hit me through my Protect. And we know Sharpedo's defenses are really shoddy. Um, this is annoying, for sure. I really need to get myself on a uh, Discord server that does Showdown Rules singles. Because I'm tired of matching up. Oh, I do survive that. Okay, so I'm going to get one crunch off on this, but it's not going to kill while it's dynamaxed. Yeah, like I said, um, I've heard of some Discord servers that do showdown rules battling. Because, yeah, I'm tired of matching people up online. And they're using Ubers like Mewtwo. And then they're dynamaxing on me like this guy. Because I think a Life Orb Adamant Crunch would have killed this Mewtwo if it wasn't dynamaxed. Let's have a look. If this does like over half, then it would have killed. What is he thinking about? Surely you just do the same thing again, come on. You're not going to switch out your Dynamax. Sweary goes to Crunch. Oh, that would have super killed if he wasn't Dynamax. It's fine. Max Flare may be predicting the Corviknight to come in on the Overgrowth. I mean, I'm actually probably just going to go Corviknight anyway. I could U-turn, actually. I'm going to U-turn. Scarf. Do I need to U-turn? I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to U-turn. Am I? Yeah, I'm going to U-turn. U-turn into Corviknight. Sat Corviknight. He wouldn't go for the flare here, even in the sun, surely not. Oh, U-turn just gets the kill, that's pretty clean. I didn't really expect that to kill, I thought it would take it quite low, but there we go. Then in comes Corviknight, onto the Cinderace, and Cinderace is hella gonna kill Corviknight with a Pyro Ball in the sun. But then Urshifu comes in, and finishes him off, I think. Surgeon Strikes in the sun, though? <sighs> this is gonna be close. Cinderace comes in. I'd be shocked if he doesn't Pyro Ball here. Because even like Pyro Ball in the Sun probably two hit KO's Urshifu. Yeah, he goes for Pyro Ball. He lands it. We see this cool animation. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Corvina goes down for sure. Now, now I just have to hope that Surgeon Strikes is enough in the Sun. I'm Scarf, so I'll go first. Un unless he's also Scarf. So let's just hope uh, one more turn of sun. 
he didn't take any um, spikes damage actually, so he's heavy duty boots. So he's not Sash, he's not Scarf. Surgeon Strikes comes out, let's hope this is enough. Oh yeah, that's hella enough, I think, I think. Hang on. <sighs> yeah, it should be, it should be. Oh yeah, Urshifu putting in the work, he goes down. So that was a good battle. Obviously, Raishu putting in that early work was so important. Didn't really sweep, but yeah, that was so important, that early work. Hopefully we can get a proper sweep in the next one, because I really want to. Let's get another one then. Here we are then. Hopefully this would be the sweep I want. Because Raichu deserves it. Because why not? Trying to show it off. You know what I mean? Let's just get a good battle here. So they open Incineroar. I've opened Urshifu. Going to get intimidated, which is actually fine because critical hits ignore stat changes. So I can just go for Surgeon Strikes and it'll ignore my attack drop. So I for sure just go for Surgeon Strikes there. I wonder if my opponent knows that. If they stay in, they're so dead. You didn't get to see the team preview, but I'm actually like very uh, skeptical of Raichu getting the sweep here because he's got four potential Sucker Punch users, which obviously will just one bang Raichu. So he doesn't stay in, he switches out. Something's taken a uh, Surgeon Strikes. Malamar, okay. So this has to at least two hit KO. I love this animation so much. Maybe I should make this an Urshifu and Raichu video. Because Urshifu's putting in just as much work. Yeah, I mean, I'm Scarf, so I go again now. He could just suck a punch just to get some damage off. Maybe my opponent didn't know about the uh, crits ignoring stat changes. So there goes one of the potential Sucker Punch users, Malamar, which is great for Raijo. Who comes in next? Corviknight. Okay, maybe it's now the time to go into Pinkurchin. Yeah, look at that. Grimmsnarl, Cinderace, and Urshifu. That Urshifu could be the dark form, we don't know yet. If it's the dark form, then they usually carry Sucker Punch. Three potential Sucker Punch users that we need to deal with in order for Raichu to sweep. But I'm just going for it anyway because, you know, if they're not, I get a really decent sweep here. What is Corbinet going to do? Iron Defense. That's pretty dumb in front of Urshifu because, like I said, Surgeon Strikes ignore stat changes, so it ignores my attack drop, it ignores your defense raise. So what was the point in that? Body Press, this is going to do a lot. I am plus one defense. Yeah, if I wasn't plus one defense, that was doing a whole lot more. We're going to get some decent damage off here. That's good. I mean, I was expecting more, to be honest. Does Is this a specially defensive Corviknight with Iron Defense, so it's like both defenses? Oh, I think I'm just going to let Pink Urchin go down here. Sucker Punch for a little bit more damage. Learn my lessons. If I go for anything but Sucker Punch, they will just kill me. Obviously this is going to do no damage because it's plus two defense. You could just R&D up again, to be fair. Okay, no. Sucker Punch. Yeah, that does like nothing, but whatever. It's Chip. Oh, Rocky Helmet. Good to know. Body Press coming out. It's going to finish off Pink Urchin. And now in comes Raichu. Now's your time, Raichu. Let's go. Yeah, I, oh, I switched from, I switched a couple of items by the way, I put Magnet on Raichu instead of Life Orb because the, the little bit of chip damage I was taking each turn means that the sweep becomes less and less likely, but Magnet still boosts my rise and voltage damage. I also put the Terrain Extender on Pink Urchin so the terrain lasts longer so it makes sure I'm faster for longer. Now I don't think for a second he's switching out because what's the point in trying to save this Corviknight now? So I'm just going to go for the rise and voltage because it'll hit anything that he switches in as well. Yeah, he's got no ground types, so Rising Voltage is going to hit something hard if he does switch. And if not, I kill Corviknight. Oh, I just misclicked. 
I actually just misclicked. They did not mean to nasty plot there. Bloody Joy-Con drift. Iron Head, that's not going to do a lot. He does, he does a fair amount, to be honest, for a not very effective move. Okay. Well, now we're in a good position to just rise in voltage. Because I was worried if I nasty plot there and he switches out, that next turn he could just sucker punch me with one of his various sucker punch users. Okay, so the misclick kind of worked out for us amazingly. I can't believe that. But still, I'm worried about Cinderace, Grim Snarl. Hopefully he doesn't go for Sucker Punch. But we don't know what he's going to go for, really. So I'm just going to go for the Rising Voltage. What's he doing? Bulk up? What? Why? Because I'm definitely going to kill you now. I'm plus two. Rising Voltage. No, let's just rain. This is definitely going to kill. Oh, yep, there's the kill. Why did he do that? I can only guess that he thought I was going to switch out. When really you should always just throw the Sucker Punch if you've got it. So now all he's got left is Incineroar. I forgot about Incineroar. I mean, this doesn't survive. This this really does just die in one. There's no way. Yep, Rising Voltage. Let's go. Boom. Down goes Incineroar. The sweep is on. Finally. If, if he had Sucker Punch, I feel like he would have already booked it out by now. So here's the Cinderace. You know what I mean? Why, why not bring out su the Sucker Punch when you brought out Grimmsnarl? I think, I think that Urshifu has to be the water Urshifu. Because again, why wouldn't you bring that out? Oh, no Sucker Punch, let's go! Let's go, Raichu! Boom, look at that! Oh, I think it's on. Out comes what I think is water Urshifu. Oh, cool. the electric train ends. So as long as it's not Scarf. If it's Scarf, it'll be faster than me, but if it's not... Oh, it's the darkness, Urshifu. Why didn't you bring that out earlier? Do you not have Sucker Punch? You don't have Sucker Punch. This is going to die. There we go. Look at that clean Raichu sweep with the rising voltage. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe for that awesome sweep from Raichu. Guys, that is the end of the video. Three battles, two pretty good sweeps. Rising voltage Raichu should not be sniff that because it is a beast please come out next time i'll have more battles for you and more vgc i'm getting back into vgc next time so yeah come back next time cheers